Hi there, this is Crystal, and I'm back with another layout for Hip Kit Club. Uh, this is a main kit only layout, so I have my May main kit ready to go. Um, we had a special assignment today to try and use this paper. This is Selfie from All Heart by Crate Paper. Uh, to try and use these, this paper and these uh, frames, these puffy frames from the all, also from the All Heart collection uh, in an interesting way. So that is what I'm going to try and do today. Uh, I have several photos. These are actually four photos uh, taken about the same time uh, on a trip we took to Michigan a few years back. Um, and I thought I might try and do some kind of um, grid type layout with, with these photos. I don't think I'll use all of them, but I wanted to have all of them ready to go just in case. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'm not real sure where it's going to go, so I am going to put you on fast forward and see what happens. So because this is my assignment to use this paper, I'm going to start with it, and I know that I want to use it in pieces, so I'm going to end up cutting it up. I actually had to switch my uh, trimmer blade really quickly, but it only took a second, so um, I didn't bother cutting that out. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to trim this down into the individual um, they're like little Polaroids, so I'm going to cut them down into the individual little uh, picture shapes. And I, I know that I only want to use certain ones, so I'm just choosing the ones that I'm pretty sure I want to use or that I think I might want to use and leaving the rest for another project. Um, so as I do that, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what my plans are. So. Um, I actually plan to use uh, the pattern paper that you see right behind the selfie paper, um, the one with the stars on it. I actually plan to use that as my background. So uh, I was super proud of myself for finally using a pattern paper as a background. I've been talking about doing it all year and uh, this is the first time I think I've done it. So, um, and I really love the way it turned out. I, I normally really like really, can I say really anymore? <laughs> Um, I like very clean backgrounds, but um, this one just screamed to be a background. It It's not overly busy. It just kind of looks like mixed media. Like if you had used a stem stencil and, and done some mixed media and maybe added some splatters, um, then you'd end up with this paper. So it, it really works well as a background. Um, so if you're trying, like me, to use a background, uh, a pattern paper background for the first time, then this is a great way to do it because it just, it feels very much like you had just done some mixed media on a white piece of cardstock. So, so uh, because my assignment was to use that selfie paper and these frames, I knew I wanted to do a grid layout that made the most sense based on the shape of those two items. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to figure out a way to get all of these things on the page and um, I want it to kind of look like I just threw them down on the page, like they just kind of landed that way. So I want it to be a little bit haphazard, um, nothing, I don't want anything to line up too perfectly, um, but I don't want any of the words on the um, little selfie paper uh, Polaroids to be obscured and I want to make sure that my the subject of my photos is still very much in view so keeping those things in mind but just kind of throwing everything down and um, making a very haphazard style grid so I, I kind of like the way it looks it's gonna stay pretty much like this a few things do move around just a little bit but um, while I'm thinking that through I'm gonna go through the die cuts that came in this pack and see what I can find that might work on this page uh, I end up pulling out a few I only use a couple of them um, I was pulling out a lot of these uh, little pieces with words and eventually it just it was too many words on the page there are a lot of words in that selfie paper and uh, I do end up using a few of the, the phrases from the uh, the die cut pack but um, eventually I had to, to pull some off because it just looked too busy with words so I stick to a few of the icons I'm going to use some of the hearts from the die, cut, die cuts and uh, just a couple of the little phrase die cuts and then that's going to be it. I'm going to end up taking the rest of those off of the page um, like I just did <laughs> right there and I actually will take that yellow one off as well. Um, it just didn't work. The, it was There was no other yellow on the page and it just stood out too much so um, I will end up taking that off. So at this point I was thinking I needed to add some other color into the page so I have mostly pink 
and black and white and it needed um, a little bit of something else. So I would look through the papers to find one that might work and I chose three that I thought might work but I'm gonna end up going with this one. This is, um, I think it's Just Right from Pinkfish Studios, Joyful Day Collection. And it was, um, it was a, a, that dark teal color was just the right contrast. So I, wa I wanted something a bit darker since the background is very light. Um, and it added a little bit of that blue color that's in some of my photos and in some of that selfie paper um, in the kind of sunset or sky um, in my photos and in the selfie paper. So it was the perfect color to not stand out too much, but to add enough contrast to make the photos um, pop up off of that background paper a little bit better. And then it made it not quite so monochromatic. It was feeling very monochromatic uh, at the moment. So uh, I'm doing this the hard way because I thought I wanted to pop up my photos, but I'll realize here in just a second that that's not going to work. Since I have all of these layers, there's no way I can add uh, foam squares behind my photos. So I, I tried, I think about it, and then I realized, no, how am I gonna layer everything if I do that? So I should have just stuck down the photos and then trimmed around them. Um, that would have been easier than trying to cut them the way I did, but I didn't, so it was fine. It wasn't too difficult. So I'm going to start layering things and actually sticking them together. So I, I'm going to build the layers um, without actually adhering anything to that background paper. Um, and I'm not sure why I did it this way. I think I just wanted to make sure that uh, everything was placed right, that I could get everything lined up the way I wanted it to be uh, without having to peel it off of that background and, and risk damaging that paper. So um, I'm just kind of sticking things um, one at a time. I want everything to overlap in some way. So. Um, like I said, I don't want to obscure the subject of the photo or any of the words on any of these papers, but I do want everything to touch. I want everything to overlap. So I'm just kind of creating a big cluster of, of these papers and photos, and I'm not adding the frames yet since they are adhesive and they'll, they'll stick to, um, the background if I, if I try and add them now. So I'll wait. I did forget to add the, <laughs> I forgot to add the mats behind these two photos already, uh, even though I just cut them. Uh, so I had to go back and do that and peel it off, but um, that was not a big deal. It was pretty easy to do. And this one didn't line up quite straight, so I just trim it a little bit. And then I can line it up on um, the cluster the way I had it originally and get everything stuck together. So again, just um, sticking it all together by kind of creating bridges with, with all these individual pieces and trying to keep things straight. I don't want it to be askew. I want everything to stay straight, but I, I don't want the edges of them to be lined up, if that makes sense. So um, that's going pretty well. I've definitely decided to use this paper. So I went ahead and trimmed off the branding strip and I can start um, adhering things down now. I didn't quite get all of that strip off, so I had to trim off a little bit more. And um, yeah, so just gonna, I'm just gonna continue to layer things. So I did layer some of the uh, little papers between the photos and the mat. Um, again, that just creates some visual depth uh, on the page. It makes it look like all of the layers are separate. Um, and I, I had that uh, one that said difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations up in the top left corner but um, I couldn't get it if I had pushed it under as far as I wanted it you wouldn't have been able to read it so I just decided to go with a different uh, little Polaroid from that selfie paper that didn't have words so that I could kind of push it further under that photo and um, make it fit on the page a little bit better. So for these frames, I had originally thought I would use them to kind of highlight the subject of my photos. Um, and I do that for a couple of them, as you can see, but for the rest, I, I really just kind of liked them offset. It didn't really make sense to have them in the middle of the photos for the other two. So um, yeah, it's fine with me that it didn't work out that way. I'm fine with just uh, putting them where they look best to me. So um, some of them highlight the subject and some of them are just kind of off on their own and that is fine. Um, so I think I'm about ready to, to stick those down. Uh, I had trouble with this one trying to get it to um, fit in between those two sentiments on the selfie paper Polaroids uh, without obscuring either one. So um, this one, I like it just like that 
gonna add it there and then this one I'm going to um, highlight the the sunset right there on that photo and um, I go with this one because I knew I'd have trouble sticking that one that other dark pink one down and I do I um, it, it fits and it makes it so that you can read both of those but I just had to kind of uh, move it around a little bit to get it exactly right okay so there it is that's basically my layout uh, the only things I have left to do are um, to add in my title and a few little embellishments. I don't add a lot of embellishments here. Uh, I'm going to add the only journaling that I add to this page is just the place and the date. So I'm just writing um, Sunset Beach at Sleeping Bear Dunes um, in Michigan. On, on the bottom of that, you are here, uh, Polaroid from the selfie paper. And then I'm going to... Um, Add a couple of these little phrases from the die cut pack uh, just in a couple of places and then I think two of the hearts from the die, die cut pack are going to make it on the page as well and this is where I decide that yellow just does not belong there so I take it off and um, I think oh yeah I do add a couple of these puffy stickers as well these are from the all heart collection uh, by Crate Paper. So there were all these little stars and even a moon on on these um, on this puffy sticker sheet and I decided just to sprinkle those around in a few places across the page. Um, they just kind of blend in with the stars that are on the background but in person they add a little bit more texture. So uh, when you see the final images you'll you won't really notice they're just kind of blended into the background but um, there really is a lot of texture there in person so it does add a lot to the page I think. Um, I really like the way that they worked out. Uh, I do pop up these two little hearts just to add a little bit more dimension. Things were a little bit flat. I like things to have a bit more uh, texture and dimension than, than it was feeling like it had um, before I added the, the um, foam squares behind these little elements. So they just added enough um, shadowing and texture and dimension to the page that made it, it feel a little bit more dynamic and less um, like a static page. So. Um, after this, I think I'm going to add my title. So I left a perfect little spot for my title there on the left-hand side where there's a little bit of empty space. Um, and uh, I knew I wanted to use, sorry about that. I think my cat just knocked over something. Um, oh, right, I do add a, a couple phrases from this uh, puffy sticker sheet. So one says yay for today and um, the other one says think happy. And I stick it there totally forgetting that my title was going to go there. So I end up having to move it, which is no big deal. It peels off uh, pretty easily and does not um, harm the paper or the photo behind it. So yeah, here's where I'm gonna add my title. And uh, I think here is also where I figure out I have to move that puffy sticker. Um, oh, I, I, that's right, I forgot. I went back through the die cuts to see if there was anything else. Um, I felt like it needed a little something, but um, I solved that problem by having to move that puffy sticker to add my title. And then I added up there and then it was the perfect little extra touch that that corner needed. Um, so I didn't really need to go back and find anything else. I had everything I needed already on the page. Um, I lifted it up there because sometimes uh, if I'm feeling like it's not quite balanced, it helps to see it uh, straight ahead. So I kind of hold it up so that I can look at it straight on instead of looking down. And that helps me um, see what, what the page needs. So I started adding these pink puffy stickers for my title. That's what I intended to use this entire time. But when I put them on the page, they were too small. Um, they were, they didn't stand out enough from the background. They were a little bit too small. And um, I decided to use the blue ones because I liked the contrast that uh, of them on the white paper. They stood out enough so that you could really see the title. And then it also brought out a lot of those blues that are in my photos and in that selfie paper. So I felt like um, that was the little extra touch that it needed uh, to make um, it a little bit more colorful and to draw out the colors that were already there. I'm gonna add my date. Uh, I had to look at the back of my photo quickly to see what the date actually was. And then I'm just gonna stamp it a few times there at the bottom of the page below that puffy sticker. And here is where I figure out that, oh right, that can go at the top and that will add exactly what that little corner needed. Um, just a little something extra. So I'm almost finished. Uh, 
I decide that um, it was looking a little too plain, like it needed something on the edges. I thought about, um, you know, doing a sketchy line or something like that, but then I thought it would be better to add more of that dark teal paper that, from Pink Fresh Studio and um, just do a border on two sides of the layout. So I trimmed off a little bit on that side and I wanted, um, there are these kind of stripes of, uh, of diamond shape um, pattern on this paper and I wanted one of those to be visible on the left hand side. So I cut off enough that I could uh, add enough of that paper so that you could see that line. I'm just using some double sided tape and then I'm going to trim off on the other side of that. So you just have this little strip that's going to adhere to the back of this page. And um, I'm not measuring anything yet, but uh, I do kind of go about this the wrong way. I think it would have been easier if I had done it differently. So when I go to trim off the other side, I trim off just enough to make it 12 inches, which makes sense. That would be the right way to do that. But then I decide maybe I want to add some of that blue paper on this side as well. Um, I tried it with it. I tried it without it. I decide I definitely like that little extra pop of that teal color. So I need to trim off more and I just kind of randomly trim off a little bit. Um, I'm basically just making sure that I don't have to cut into any of the elements. You could see I had to move over one of those little puffy stars just a tiny bit, um, but I left otherwise plenty of room on that side for all of the elements to to sit. Um, and I didn't, I didn't really measure how much I took off, so I'm just kind of randomly adding a little bit of this teal paper and then I have to try and line it up to make it 12 by 12 again. And I should have gotten out a, a mat with a grid and um, that would have made this easier, but I didn't think to do that. I also could have just left um, a larger chunk on the side and used my trimmer to trim it down to 12 inches. Also didn't think of doing that at the moment. So I struggle and mess with it and try and get it straight. And I eventually get it mostly straight, straight enough um, to call it good enough. And then I'm just gonna rough up the edges of that, uh, that star paper to make it add a little bit more texture to the page. And then that's it. That's it for the layout. So um, there are some close-up photos coming up. I hope you enjoyed seeing my process. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, all of the supplies that I used will be linked down below. So if you haven't picked up that kit, you can go pick one up for yourself. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all back here very soon.